So I realize it's been about two years since I made my last video saying how to pass the ASVAB in 2022, all right? So that was two years ago and you guys loved it, but I get a lot of people ask me all the time the same questions. How do I pass the ASVAB? How do I get better at the ASVAB? This and that. And if you go on YouTube, right, this platform right here, you go on Instagram, TikTok, wherever, and you search the question, how do I pass the ASVAB? You're gonna see a million responses, literally. They're gonna say study, they're gonna say get flashcards, they're gonna say do this and do that. Are they right? Sure. But I wanna dive deeper today and really tell you how you can pass the ASVAB. And it's a lot more than you think. It's more than a book, it's more than an app, it's more than studying, it's more than all that. You wanna find out what it is? Check this out. People join the military every single day for different reasons. Some, it's for career advancement. Some, it's to get an education. For others, it's to take care of their families. There's really no right or wrong answer. I joined the Marine Corps because I wanted to be a better person when I was younger and I wanted to succeed and I wanted to see what was out there. So that's why I did it personally. For others, they join to go to school and get a degree, be the first one in their family to do something that no one else has ever done. For some, it's to take care of their family and have stability, job stability, consistent pay, medical, dental benefits, whatever. But for whatever reason, you, decide to join the military, and that's for any branch. Marines, of course, Army, Navy, Air Force, Space Force, Coast Guard, you name it. There's a test involved, and it's called the ASVAB. Now, the ASVAB is the Armed Service Vocational Aptitude Battery Test. This is essentially the placement test, the SATs, whatever you wanna call it, to be placed in the military. Now, what I will say is that certain branches have different requirements for your eligibility to enlist. For instance, in the Marine Corps, you must score a 31 or higher to be eligible to enlist. That means if you score a 30, you don't enlist, you have to retake the test until you get a 31 or higher. Other branches such as the Navy will take test scores as low as a 10 to qualify you for enlistment. Now, depending on your scores will depend on the amount of jobs that are open to you and whatnot, behoove you, right, to score higher, to have more job opportunities available for you so that once you're going through, you can essentially pick what you want instead of being told what you have to do because of your scores. Now, let's talk about the test itself. The ASAP is 10 sections, okay? The first five sections make up your AFQT or your Armed Forces Qualifying Test Score. That score is what gets you from one to 99, right? So the first five sections, your math, reading, word knowledge, paragraph comprehension, and arithmetic reasons make up that overall score. Now, the last five sections are what make up your line scores. Now, every branch has different line score requirements depending on the job you're looking for. In the Marine Corps, we use four. Other branches use eight, 10, or 12. So in the Marines, we use your GT or your general technical, your MM, which is your mechanical, your CL, which is your clerical score, and your EL, which is your electrical score. Now, every job in the Marine Corps requires at least one of those scores to be eligible for a job. Some require two, but the point being is those last five sections of that test are what are gonna raise up your line scores, which will then qualify you for the job. So the test, it's one long test, takes about two hours, but the first five sections get you a qualifying score. The last five sections qualify you for a job. So if you don't know something on that test, you should study a specific section. Now, how do we study a specific section? You go and get the book. I recommend the book because two reasons. One, it's cheap, it's 20 bucks. You can get it at Amazon, you can get it at Barnes and Noble, a bookstore, whatever, or you can get it for free at the library. Go to your local library, sign up for a free library membership and go check out the book. It doesn't matter if it's not the 2024 version. They're all the same. You can get one from 2018, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, whatever. It has the same material because that test hasn't changed in 20 years. It really doesn't matter what you get. But let's get to the real reason and what makes this video different from the last video and any other video you're gonna watch on how to pass the ASVAP. You have to look yourself in the mirror literally, and ask yourself, why do you wanna join the military in the first place? Get out a pen and a paper, don't use your phone, and write it out. Write that goal down of why you wanna be in the military, why you wanna be a Marine, why you wanna be a soldier, why you wanna be a sailor, why you wanna be an airman, etc. Write it down and look at it. Take a real hard look at it. And every time, you decide you wanna stray away from that goal, from whatever you wrote on that piece of paper, 
ask yourself, what's more important? Is my phone more important? Is Instagram and TikTok and social media, is that more important? Or is me studying for a test that is mandatory to pass to enlist more important? Is me hanging out with my friends, going out with my friends, bullshitting, doing anything else, is that more important than a test that will change your life? No matter what branch you join in the military, it will change your life for the better. Now, are you gonna let a test, a two hour test, less than 100 question test, decide your fate in life? Are you gonna not study for this test? Give up, never know what could have happened because it was hard, because it was difficult. Newsflash, life is difficult, life is hard. You're gonna go through some trials and tribulations in your life. For some of you guys, it might be this test. It might be your lack of study habits. You might be studying ineffectively. You might put so much focus on this thing right here called a cell phone, right? And wondering what other people are doing and checking your social media than actually giving a shit and studying for a test that you need. But again, I'm not you. And I can only give you so much advice of what's really truly going to help you. So when you decide to study for this ASVAB, right? Turn your phone off, put it in airplane mode, take your smartwatch device, whatever, take it off. Go buy yourself a dollar notebook, get a pen, whatever, sit down and read. Now, I will say everybody learns differently. You have visual learners, you have kinesthetic learners, you have auditory learners, whatever. But for the purpose of this video right now and to prove my point, get the damn book, sit down and read it. Now, if you're not a person that learns well by reading, you could go on YouTube. Again, you wanna study effectively. You wanna study with a purpose. Don't just blindly go on there, open up YouTube, and you see all these just irrelevant videos that aren't going to help you. Go on YouTube and type in ASVAB math, ASVAB word knowledge, ASVAB paragraph comprehension, ASVAB blank, insert section of the test here. Now, what I will tell you is a lot of people, they get caught up studying the parts of the test that don't really matter because they haven't passed the test in the first place. What I mean is a lot of people, they're like, well, I don't really know the electrical or mechanical portion of the test. So I'm really going to study that a lot, but you can't pass the test in the first place. So why are you focusing on the sections that boost your line scores when you can't get a qualifying score to begin with? All right. So what you should be focusing on are the things you suck at. Go study word knowledge. Go study math, which is usually everybody's hardest section. Go study paragraph comprehension, arithmetic reasoning, which are like word problems. That's science. If you know you suck at science, don't study mechanics. Go study science and then do it again and again and again. Do it until it becomes easy so that once you do take the test, there's no doubt in your mind you're going to pass it. Once you go to MEPS, which I'll link another video, I've already talked about that and how that works, right? Once you earn the right to get to that next step, there's no doubt you're going to pass. So that once you enlist into the branch of your choice, there's no doubt that the effort and work you put in is going to pay off. So that once you graduate boot camp and you earn the title, whatever branch it is you're going to, you know that the work you put in beforehand the hours of study, not minutes, the things that you left behind to better yourself, you know at that point that it was worth it. But a lot of you guys watching this video, you might be motivated in the moment. This might inspire you. This might motivate you right now to want to do the things I'm telling you. But if you don't have two things, no matter what I tell you, it'll never work. If you don't have discipline, real discipline, like the kind of discipline that tells you, man, it's Friday night. I want to go out with the boys and go do this and that. I want to go play Xbox. I want to do whatever it is I want to do. Having the discipline to say, nope, sorry, man, I can't do it. I have to go study. I have to study for this test because this test is going to change my life. And this is what's going to get me to the next chapter of my life, which is what you want. Remember, remember what you wrote down? That's the number one most important thing. Without that, stop watching this video right now and continue doing whatever it is you're doing. And the second most important thing that you must have is dedication. I didn't say motivation because motivation, it comes and goes. You're motivated right now. Now you're not motivated, but dedication to put the studying in every single day, whether it's hot outside, it's cold outside, you're tired, you didn't sleep well, whatever the case is. 
insert excuse here, to have the discipline to do what you know you need to do every single day, no matter what. And for you, it's studying. That's Monday through Sunday. Not for five minutes, right? If I study for five minutes, I'm not getting anything out of that. I mean some real study. At least minimum, minimum 30 minutes of uninterrupted study, preferably an hour, because once you get into your flow and you start understanding things, it becomes easier. And when it becomes easier, you wanna do it more because now you understand how to do it. Hour a day. Now, if we break that down, one hour a day, there's seven days in a week, that's seven hours a week. That's times it by four, that's 20 hours a month. That's not a lot of time if you really think about it, but that should be the bare minimum you're studying so that once you go back to your recruiter's office, you know you're gonna pass that test and everything I've told you was worth it. But here's the question, are you gonna do it? Are you really gonna do it? Is this the year you change? Or are you the same person you've always been? Yeah, I'm gonna do it, you know what? Psh, right now I'm gonna go do it. You get up, you, you, open, you go buy the book, you look at it, you're like, that's a big book. Man, I don't know if I can do it. You let your doubts and your fears and everything else tell you you can't do it. When all it takes is two things. If you could do that, you'll be successful. You'll pass this test. And you'll never have to watch this video again because you already know what to do. And more importantly, you know how to do it. So again, this video is a little bit different from the last one I made because now I'm just being real. I've been on recruiting duty for three and a half years. I've seen thousands of people take the ASVAB and the practice test. I've seen people come in, get a terrible score, leave, never come back. Well, one shot, tried it, didn't work out for me, quit, gave up. I've seen people take the test five times, five times at MEPS, like official tests. And had a guy pass it on the last try. He actually scored so well they thought he cheated, which he didn't, and had to take it again to confirm his score. And I'm like, hey man, how did, what did you do? He goes, I just gave a fuck, man, I studied. I actually did what I had to do. I was tired of just bullshitting. That the first few times I bullshitted, I, I, did, I just barely studied. I was hoping I'd get a better score and I didn't. Then he actually put the work in and he actually passed. And now he's a corporal in the Marine Corps right now doing great things. But are you gonna do the things you say you're gonna do? Are you actually gonna follow through with it this time? I don't know. I wish you the best of luck. I hope one thing I've said in this video is impactful. I hope it sticks. And I hope it allows you to open your eyes and realize that you're, the potential you have, it's in you. Use the free resources that are out there. The book, YouTube, flashcards, apps, whatever. How are you decide to study? Actually study distraction free. And then I challenge you, right? Once you pass the ASVAB, I want you to come back to this video and I want you to leave a comment below saying, hey, I did the things you said and this is the score I got. Hey man, you were right. When I stopped bullshitting over here and I started studying, it really worked. I want you to come back and tell me because I know you can do it and I can't wait to see all the comments below with everyone who's passing the test now and finally able to start chapter two of their life. Hopefully you took something out of this video because I really meant this video a lot. I've told a lot of people this one-on-one, -on -one, but now I'm telling it to the world. So hopefully someone out there watching this, it can help change your life for the better because I know the Marine Corps changed my life 